Oh yeah, it's going to be something we focus in a lot on once we get into the game, because how can we not? El Yoya, rising superstar jungler here in Europe and self-made someone that, you know, has kind of had his up and down performances, but I still think is always sat among the, the map early on, mainly because that's where they have the prio. Whereas Mad Lions, they have a very strong mid jungle, which could be used to punish the Evelyn early. So it all comes back to what we said earlier. Of course, as you mentioned, playing towards the bottom side, mirrored on the opposite side, Elio playing towards the top side. A very aggressive TP coming in here, trying to shut down SLT. TP going to be matched here. SLT can pull back. 1-2 on the punch. Haymaker comes in. Leader in the area, but it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of follow-up. Leader just walking into the midst of everybody, getting over the wall, and just goes down. But my mind is blown right now, Dracos. So was that some, like, next level five head from Humanoids? Zone. Now, okay, I think it's important to call out. It's, it's hard. I'm still recovering from that because that was just a very weird play. More action. Leader now running for his life. The Ruka to connect. El Yoya on the way in. Leader. The flash oh, out. To get over the wall. They hesitated for a second there. Leader now has to just keep running. Oh, Kaiser flash forward. He's here just in time. And this is probably the worst early game leader has had yet this season. That sucks. Middle bit of a fumble there on the top side. It's safe to say into immediately going down in the mid lane again. Yeah, so to kind of quickly go back on the top side, the thing that I really have issue with from Leader was the fact that he chased, because I think the initial TP to kind of like dissuade the dive was fine. You're ultimately just trading TPs. That's not the end of the world. But then yeah. he goes for that chase and he gets punished for it. Then his wave is at a bit of an awkward spot in mid, but now Vitality trying to answer top. Pull back, big haymaker, where is it going to go? He's still under the tower, but the shield is going to take him out. Flawlessly done there. SLT grabbing that one. Good fight back coming in from Vitality. Oh, you can chase a bit here, but probably no way for him to finish a kill. Burning though, a ton of Damage comes out for the rumble, but with SLT in the area, it has to be and, careful. Right? I think he's going to go for this. There's no reason not to. Self-made is very low. Healing back up from the Evelyn passive, right. though, as he's been out of combat for a while. So I do respect the fact that Elioid doesn't commit because he appreciates that even on a kind of existed and kind of hung over his shoulder for a very long time. But this split, as a player and last split, I think that he has been very strong. And now he's roaming and looking to leverage his lead in the other game. Certainly is. Arma walking forward. SLT could be in trouble here, but diving a set is always very difficult. The pull back there trying to tank the tower. Big Haymaker now back onto the tower. He went flashing out to safety, finishing the job. That was clean. Now he's trying to make it out. Leader ready to go. But no, Humanoid, the Mad lad, he would have died last season, but this season he's on fire. Meanwhile, there's a kill in the bottom lane. That's because it blows proc. And Kaiser needs to finish the kill onto Crown Shot. The auto, the empowered auto. Will it. it be enough? Burning, ticking, damage over time, but he's healing back up. Crown Shot's still alive, and he gets another kill. Oh my word! So Vitality's able to answer by two v two killing the Mad Lions bot lane. Vitality is a team. A definitely game so very hard for Karzi to play. Good news is Humanoid has a lot of pseudo tankiness. You've got a Jace who can maybe avoid that. As SLT has to be careful. That's going to be the showstopper. Fishing for the fall. The Haymaker now coming in. Leader looking for a kill. This should be an easy one with the ultimate. Now getting the reset coming through. He's got a cannon form Jace to try to get a little bit more down. Humanoid caught out again. That's a shutdown for Leader. And just like that, he's back in the game. He certainly is. And I think that when I saw that flash from Leader, I was like, this is a bit of an overcommitment, but then I realized he's going for the shutdown. That changes when Armut completes his first item, when he can do a bit more damage to this set. And this Mad, fish for a play here on the top side, very focused on SLT, determined to take this man off the map, but he can walk forward and just try to kill the wave as quick as he can. Haymaker back, now he's gonna throw forward. Ulti, a little too late there, and SLT will get taken down. And I just wanted to highlight before this play happened the huge amount of vision investment for his self-made. Or is he just, whoa! Yeah, okay. there's self-made. <laughs> that is the classic Evelyn pick. He catches Kazi out of position. Kazi doesn't even bother the flash. He knows that his life is forfeit. And what's interesting is, notice his self-made doesn't wait for the charm in. He doesn't care. All he cares about is getting his abilities down and one-shotting the enemy to carry and he top team. So let's kind of bring it back into the game. We can see the cross map happen. Armored Humanoids kind of stacking up as a two-man, threatening this bot tier two, as Leader is sitting solo in the top lane. And SLT doing what he can. He's received a lot of punishment in this Gage. game. Haymaker doesn't have the W anymore. They're just going to walk him down. The flash out to safety is going to make it out. They get the flash, but should be able to grab the tier two as well if they want it. But Leader is doing the same thing, and the fact that SLT is able to keep himself alive as well is huge. Pings are coming down into the top lane. You can see Human now because of how much time he spent isolated in the side lane, and you can see how Vitality are reclaiming control over this bot side of the map. SLT going to push this wave in as well, and here's the round. Round more. Might be a bit difficult. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the area, though. Kaiser there as well. Vitality not going to overcommit to this one. A lot of patience from Vitality. Now just going to back off, going to retreat. Team fights can be hard. The AoE damage from Rise is a big deal. Vitality ideally... 
Peter pushing in. This is going to be potentially a 50-50 if they want to commit, but no, Vitality just going to burn this one down and walk out. LeBron ready to body block, but there goes the equalizer. LeBron now going to try and turn to chain the corruption. Leader coming in. He's invisible for now, but they've already blown up self bait It's a solid start. They're trying to take out Kaiser. They're going to finish the job. He's going to turn into the Nautilus. Immediately, he can all back out to shift. He turns into the rumble. He's going left and right, but it's just not enough. You can turn into whoever you want, but the damage is way too stacked on Mad Lions. The moment the leader joined the fight, I thought that this was going to be a one fight for Vitality, but Mad, they held strong and humanoid. What you want to see in a fight and Vitality's composition, again, very powerful. They're uh -oh. going to isolate a single target. Leader, though, caught out here. Has gone over the wall, now going to try to fire back. Forced to ulti out to safety. Ooh. And Mad Lions very much seem ready to take a fight here. The, the threat of poke from Vars is a bit annoying, but they might just commit for this Baron. It's risky. They don't have mid fire right now. The bot wave's middle the spot. Nice they hex might flash. Get it. Good hex flash, good hook. LeBron now has to retreat. Crown shot walking over to try to offer him a way out. Chains of Corruption going to connect but with that pick. You see Matt already threatening again, hoping to catch someone in the fog of war just constantly. If the sustained DPS of a Rise, a Jace, and a Kaisa can thread through this, but self-made, waiting in the darkness. Ulti available, can take him back over the wall if he wants to commit. Are they gonna be able to get the 50-50? SLT leaping forward, they lock him up to stop from getting anything else, but that's a big haymaker! Vitality now backing off. Humanoid, they're ready to clean up. They have to be careful. They have to take their time. Self-made. Oh. Gonna hold back with the last crest, but it's a clean stopwatch. Humanoid playing out of his mind in this fight, but he has to be careful. He gets picked up by the Rebel, but it's gonna be bad news. Elioia in the midst of the team. That one, just a bit of miscoordination, and Mad Lion's gonna be forced to back away. Humanoid is smurfing in this game right now. He got himself the early lead. He was super proactive, and he is just coming up clutch in the team fights. And he predicted the ultimate from self-made throughout the Zonyas and was able to mitigate that. And that would have been a one damage the second do. It's very clear the vitality of the tools to absolutely just explode in these team fights and wipe Mad off the face of the map, but Mad are not giving them a single opportunity. You highlighted the stopwatch, the positioning from Mad, locking him down, and Vitality now fishing for something, looking a little desperate, goes golden, tries to buy a bit more space, self-made stepping forward. They're now on the retreat here, but Lebrov off to the side, has already used the close flows. Now backing off, Peter off to the side as well. Now on a rampage, they're gonna walk away again, Lebrov getting caught out. Yep. Lebrov thought that they were committing to the fight there. He wanted to try and get that concussive blow. Passive applied to Elioi just as he came out of the stopwatch, and unfortunately for him, that was his immediate demise. Mad Lions get themselves a quick pick. And this is one of the things, right? Mad Lions are a team that even though they won last split, even though they're a very experienced team with great game sense and very strong mechanics, and I think we're seeing that. We're seeing Vitality make these small missteps that Mad are very quick to punish, and you can't underestimate them. Even with a lead against this team, they will fight you to the bitter end as they did against Rogue, and now we'll see if they can all their way back into this game. Karzy stepping way too far forward, just immediately gets popped off there. Leader now backing away, trying to use as much damage as he can. Now, locked up, Kaiser getting caught out, and Vettius, I think we call that a caster curse. Humanoid on the run, Vitality instantly take the fight. And that was the respect shown, I believe, from Vitality. <laughs> Very well executed from them. They're gonna get themselves their third Drake of the game, and they punish the bot lane from Mad Lions. Just as we do the fifth book. Wow, what a, what a great way to test it. We just <laughs> both take a different side of the coin and we see who gets flame more. That said, Humanoid sneaking into the pit there with the Realm Warp as we focus back up. It's 27 minutes into the game. The goal just about dead even. The Drake's really the biggest thing that Vitality has in their favor for now. Hoping to find the soul. Leader off to the side. Kaiser has the overstate. Uh -oh. Humanoid now locked up, but that's the Zion is already gone. The Equalizer though in a fantastic spot. They kept LeBron in the area, and Crown Shot is gonna get knocked up by the ultimate. The turn back could be big from the side of Vitality, but Mad Lions using the Equalizer to force Vitality away. And now Mad Lions are going to go to the Baron and force Vitality into an awkward position. Are you going to fight without your support? Because I don't think you have much of a choice. This Baron is being melted by the okay. Mad Lions. 4K getting lower and lower. Selfmade doesn't have enough time to get in the pit. They're going to grab this one, but can the fight go in their favor? In the midst of everything is SLT. Keep your eyes on that Haymaker. It's big. But Elliot goes to Golden just in time. Cars in the midst of the pit, though. The dunk down. It's just too massive. SLT refuses to die. And yes, they get the Baron, but Vitality. Huge props to Armour. Not someone that's really been talked a lot about this split, yep. but he's really having a very solid game, but involved in 10 of the 11 kills the Mad Lions have found themselves. And even though he got a lot of resources invested into him early game, I think he's paying dividends here in a lot of these fights. And while Almrat doesn't always have the cleanest early games, he's always been a very clutch player. Game five versus Rogue, an easy thing to talk about as another ultimate goes wide, and that is the key for Mad to initiate. Vitality once again forced to back away. Every time they throw out an ulti and miss, Mad Lions are just ready to get a fight started. Selfmade waiting on the flank here. Armut Canal could be in trouble. They're gonna try to blow him up before the fight even gets started, but SLT in the middle of everyone does so much damage. Can't crown shot follow up, can't crown shot finish the job. Where's the next piercing area gonna go? Because Karzi has to run for his life. El Yoya getting chased down as well. No more concussive blows. The Rumble taking them out to safety, but it's El Yoya all on his lonesome leader now chasing. Spectral Mod goes wide, but he doesn't need it. El Yoya trying to burn him down. Does he have enough damage? No, he does not. Leader gonna grab that one. Leader goes on a killing spree and once again 
again, Vitality come out on top in the fight. Three dead for the side of Mad in exchange for one. And SLT, he has definitely been the punching bag this game, but he still continues to contribute so much damage thanks to his Haymaker. And he's forcing Mad Lions on the back foot. Vitality are doing a great job in the five versus five. And now they're looking for another pick, self-made on the hunt. Humanoid could get cut out here. The flash forward, the charm, the ulti, it's just too much. He goes golden, but how much time does it actually buy for him? He should just get taken down here. Massive damage now. The 35 minute mark, Baron's gonna be spawning soon. Elder also uh, in the near future. Vitality controlling the top side jungle, looking for that pick. Knockup gonna come out. Leader forced to use the ultimate before the fight even kicks off. Karzy debating his options here, but it's a TP in the area. SLT ready to get started. Level three on the showstopper. He can be a massive threat in these fights. 30 seconds left on the Baron. Vitality's trying to establish control over the mid lane, but it's SLT who's been caught out. Strikebreaker under the wall, not going to do too much here. Trying to hold on to the Haymaker for now. It's the Equalizer going down. Vitality still fighting in the midst of everything. Self-made alts back into the Equalizer. Leader in trouble. Goes golden for a brief moment. SLT stepping forward, trying to body block for his mid laner. Big stun, big damage. Leader is still alive. Now uses the Empowered Q coming in from the stolen champion as Vitality are just absolutely wiping this fight. LeBron with a flash forward, with a follow. El Yoyo running for the hills, but Self-made is waiting. Self-made in the darkness will not be able to pursue any further. It's a massive fight for Vitality and it just might be the game. It looked like such a good fight initially for the Mad Lions, but Leader is able to turn things around with a bit of help from SLT. They're gonna get three members down. They're looking for the Nexus and Vitality is looking to continue challenging the top of the table. Oh, yo, you armor the last two left standing. SLT not gonna have it. It's a face breaker. It's a showstopper. It's a clean finish for Vitality. It was back and forth, but it's Vitality all the way. A perfect game from Crown Shot, a single death on Self Made. You know what? SLT was the punching bag this game, but an overall great performance from his from him as well. 2-0 on the weekend for Vitality.